This is the PowerUp remote control paper aeroplane. This is the Kickstarter version from 2020 and it's based on the PowerUp 4. It has a controller at the front which uses Bluetooth, this aerial, to connect to a mobile phone. This version, the PowerUp 4, has two motors at the back to provide direction control. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how it's assembled, how easy or difficult it is. I'm going to show it flying, tell you my experience and give you a few hints on the sort of space you need and other things to be aware of um, if you're looking at purchasing one of these. I'm also going to demonstrate a foam version which came as part of the same kit which was an option and how that flies as well. I don't often do unboxings, but I'm going to do an unboxing of this. This is showing the Kickstarter kit that I got. There was different levels and you can get different amounts depending upon that. And you can also order these separately. There was an option at the end of the Kickstarter, which was quite good to add some extras that you hadn't included before. But if you're not interested in the unboxing, the chapters are included in the description so you can skip forward and see the other parts. So I'm going to go through an unboxing of the power up. If you're not interested in this then I am using the YouTube chapters feature so if you look on the timeline you should be able to jump forward to the next chapter if you prefer but let's show what's in this. So the um, the power up um, comes away comes with various different optional extras. Um, depends upon the um, package that you bought. Uh, obviously, mine was through Kickstarter, so uh, it was the uh, reward level. Uh, and you can see this is what I ordered on mine, which was the um, the basic um, power up bare bone. I ordered um, some templates, accessory kit, parts kit, uh, the F22 uh, foam-based kit and the night flight kit, which should add uh, ability to put lights onto the um, onto the power up. So this is the power up four, and this is the uh, the main kit. So. Bluetooth on the back, uh, 10 minutes flight on charge, 230 feet, 70 meter control range, real time telemetry, various things. Uh, each kit contains the smart module, four printed templates, instructions for the invader design, a spare propeller set, crossbar, micro USB charging cable, a trim jig and a quick start guide. And it's uh, available on the app. The, the app to control it is, it runs on your smartphone, able to download on the App Store or Google Play. And there's also a link to some free airplane designs as well. So if we open this up, uh, nicely packaged in there. So as you pull it out, you can see straight away. So there's the, the main body. See so an aerial on there, little on and off switch, a little charging cable, and there's a QR code there scanning. You see it's all, all quite nicely packaged. It's, uh, In here we've got the trim card, uh, uh, installation guide, and several Invader model templates. Let's have a look at these. So these are. marked out 
I think these are identical. So you've got multiple spare copies. Yeah, so they're, they're identical. So this is wing folding line. I'm gonna make sure I read these properly to, to not spoil them, but um, it comes with these. It includes a little instruction book. And this, I'm blown away really by the, the quality of, of all the packaging, everything. It's all very, very professional. Uh, very different from a lot of the kickstarts that I've, I have had some um some that quite professional the the next doc was uh, always a good example but uh, this um is actually really well professionally done some instructions there uh safety information instructions on charging how to craft control The safety information, it looks like it's mainly on caution with charging. Various things on there. There's FCC approval. That's a bit. Something about FCC. Complies with the FCC rules for Canada. Um, not directly relevant to me in the UK, but uh, it's there. Not the less, so put all this back in here keep it all together so. oh I want it <laughs> so I, I wasn't expecting I was expecting to have to charge it I've just um, Switched it on by accident as I was putting it in, and it looks like it's it's ready charged. So perhaps part of the testing, there's some charging there. So I will be um, charging it properly and uh, putting it together, uh, running some test flights. Just have to make sure that's pushed down so it doesn't damage the aerial. So the next bit is um, some paper aeroplane templates. Use some scissors to cut through this tape. There. Okay. Selection of templates and some plastic bits. I think this is the stand. This is um, so that you can mount when you're not running it. You can mount it up so that's a so invader I think that's the one that was in there the standard one this is a this is a waterproof one so it's um fold lines there's the tabs yeah so this is the same as the other one but it's it's printed on a waterproof paper there's two of those what we've got here is a eagle and so this is a these are the I think the easy difficulty easy this one's difficulty intermediate. Looks like that's the same. So it's, it's two of each of the templates in here. The onslaught, another easy one. Valkyrie, Valkyrie, um, intermediate. So the, the speed slow, but the, the glide is rated high. Here the Emperor, another easy one, and then lastly. The 
the wide glider, another intermediate one. And as you see, all of them probably won't be able to see this on the camera, but it's got the writing in a very, very pale uh, marking. So, whereas on the standard one, it was quite obvious on here, it's not quite so easy to see, but will mean that uh, it doesn't look, you can't really see the uh, writing once it's put together and you're flying it. So, so, so yeah, so one desk stand, two invader, onslaught. Uh, so it's got different things. All weather and night flying is the invader. Onslaught for takeoff and landing. Then the, the other templates there. There's. there for now. Let's see what else we got. We got, so I mean I thought that the spare parts kit I thought it's probably worth having uh, in case any of the parts break. I don't think it added much to the cost, but there's a, an extra crossbar. Some bumpers. These are like foamy style bumpers. A front clip. And then two propeller sets. So that's two pairs. So there's two, one pair, and then another one. Accessories kit, I've got landing gear set, vertical fasteners, horizontal fasteners, front clip, screws, and a screwdriver. Yeah, yeah tiny little screwdriver. So these, these must be the landing wheels. Yeah, that's that one for the front, two for the rear. Front clip. And then these are the horizontal and vertical fasteners. Now it said screws. I didn't see any screws in there. Let's look again. Uh, I'll go there. Good in that tape. Yeah. So I won't put it apart, but there's the screws inside there, so that does include the screws. Night fight kit, let's get a LED panel. So one power pod and one red and blue LED. So there's the power pod. And there's, so it looks like a little LED strip. That just sticks on the And there's a, a tiny little, uh, looks like JST connector. Just curious as to what the batteries are. And let's see if we can have a look at the uh, screwdriver. Looks like it might open up. It's very tight. Hmm. I assume it's, it's designed that you can replace them. It doesn't say on the box. To... I 
a vision of this all flying apart. I'm, I'm guessing it's um, it's a group of, of button cells or something like that. So just have a quick look. Yeah, there we go. There's three three button cells there in there. So it should be possible to get replacement batteries if required. That back together, so I don't know if those are screws. And then finally, there's the um, foam plane. Make those with the paper. Um, I think there's a couple of different kinds. So I chose this one. It's um, foam board jet that you assemble. There's a build video online. Details how to start building it suitable for beginner to intermediate and you can see it's two foam boards pre-cut pre or pre-scored so you can pop them out and assemble those. So that's it for the unboxing. I'm going to have a go at putting some of this together and having a go. Just going to show the assembly of the paper aeroplane this time. This will be played forward in speed. If you want the detailed description, then the QR code is included on the box. And I'll include the link in this description if you want to watch the full official video. Here is the paper plane in action. Note how far it travels, which is an indication of the minimum amount of space you need to fly the plane.
And here I'm going to show the assembly of the foam version. Again, this will be speeded up so you don't have to watch in real time. And I will include a link to the official video, which will be in the description. Here is the foam plane flying. 
this time at a different location with more space. There is slightly less wind as well, although the wind did pick up a little whilst we were flying. Unfortunately, the foam plane did take quite a bit of damage to the front when it landed nose down. This is after a few such landings. So the one problem I had with this is that there was a slight breeze. The field I was in wasn't huge. It was about the size of a single soccer field, football field, and it was surrounded by brambles. And as you can imagine, the plane caught the wind, ended up in the brambles and I had to literally climb through these, these very sharp bushes to retrieve it. So really you do need a lot of space for these planes and I'd recommend at least two football fields wide, two football fields long with the direction going lengths of the football fields would be ideal. Can go away with a bit less than that but it certainly gets your heart racing when you see it heading towards some trees or something like that. So all in all, this uh, plane, really fun to fly. I prefer the foam version, which uh, I felt like I had a bit more control, although it may be through experience, so, and it also depends upon the wind conditions. So the one downside of this is that you need to have very good conditions for flying. Uh, even a slight amount of wind, as you can imagine, it being a paper airplane is going to carry it off course. You also need a large amount of space.